Dear students, today's topic is frequency polygon. In the frequency polygon, we will uh, use the data set which is given in the SPSS file. You can uh, see the lower limits and upper limits are uh, given in first two columns. So this is the interval and corresponding frequencies are given in the next column. So observations are 60 to 62 and the frequency is 5. First of all, first of all, we will compute a variable x using transform compute variable. See, we have to add target variable. So I am writing here x uh, and the label is the midpoint. It's the midpoint. And then continue. And the numeric expression consists of the set of parentheses, which includes lower class limit. So double click on lower plus double click on upper and divided by. Then OK, we will have one more column, which is here which is obtained by a, a computing the expression. So very, from variable view, we can make the decimal points zero because we don't need to mention our points in decimal. Now we will construct frequency and chart filter. We will have one more window. There is a gallery and in the gallery we have options uh, of the different type of graphs, which includes histogram. From this gallery, we will choose the option histogram. So click on the histogram. From histogram, we will have four more options. And the third option, this one is the frequency polygon. So double click on this. We will uh, select the frequency polygon and it comes into the uh, top window in the form of blue rectangle. Now drag the midpoints X from the variables up to the X and also select the F in the histogram along the Y axis and then OK. This is our frequency. So, uh, for the 61, here it is 61. So we can observe that uh, this is 5. And uh, corresponding to 64, frequency is 18. So 64 is 18. And similarly, for 67, the frequency is 42. So we can observe that. Uh, frequency polygon is representing this frequency distribution. Thank you so much for watching this video. Allah Hafiz.